Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the HTC One and root it. This is the first time I do it over my HTC One, so I don't know how things will go on. Well, let's start and see how it goes. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my video channel. Thank you everyone, thank you for all the comments or the likes. Uh, this time I will try to keep all the links. Everything that you need will be in the details of the video. Hope you'll enjoy the video and hope you'll have everything you need to do it yourself as well. Just be careful, when you unlock the bootloader, it will uh, format, factory reset all your phones, so be sure to back up everything I already did with uh, ADB and a few other programs because I'm paranoid for it. So let's hope everything will go as planned and let's start. So first thing that you will need to do is to go to htcdev.com. You'll need to register first, I already did. I'm already logged in so I don't have to do it now. And then you go to unlock bootloader. Then get started. Here you can read all the details about unlocking your bootloader. It will, it might void your warranty and blah 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 blah. You probably already know it, but if you don't, I suggest you read it just so you'll know everything. Anyway, you select your device. Just uh, note that there is no HTC One here. If you look, there is no M7. The HTC One doesn't uh, list here. You have to choose all other supported models. You choose this and begin unlock bootloader. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yeah, they already warn you again, just in case and everything, you know, just to be careful. So I press yes and we will begin the process. Again, you have to accept all the things. Read it if you never read it. I already did, so I already know what it has. So now basically it shows you how to do it. First of all, make sure that you have everything what is listed here installed. Google Android SDK, Java Runtime and HTC Sync. Now Google Android SDK I already have installed because I tried to learn to develop some apps. I already can show you one of them. Java, you probably already have it as well. HTC Sync I actually uninstalled a few days ago. I think the drivers will be enough. Now, in order to begin, you'll have to enter your bootloader in the HTC One. Now, before you do, as it says here in step one and everything else, you'll have to do something first, because our HTC One has something special. So first, go to settings, scroll to the bottom almost to the power menu, and again to the bottom, you'll see here the last option is fast boot. You have to disable it. The thing it does is loads our HTC One faster, and it disables the option to enter the bootloader actually. I don't know, one time I tried it with fastboot enabled and I could enter our bootloader but it doesn't work all the time so it's better to disable it. So now we are going to power off our device and then enter the bootloader. HTC Dev says you'll have to power off it first. You don't have to but let's do it the proper way as they suggest. Give it a few moments. Now the device is powered off. So actually you have to press the volume down key, hold it, and add the power on button. It takes a few seconds and then it loads to the bootloader. Here it is. So this is our bootloader. So basically what we did now is step one. Now step two just enter to the first boot. You use the volume buttons to select up or down. Highlight fast boot and press the power button to enter it. Then you have to connect your device to the computer. You can do it later actually. And then you need to download the fast boot. Basically, fast boot will uh, give you some access, some CLI options while you're in the fast boot. So I won't download it, I'll just proceed because I already have it in the ADB tools in the Google Android SDK. So you just hit proceed. 
So now what you're gonna do is open your command line CMD, however you want to call it and enter to navigate to the directory of the uh, place where you downloaded the first boot. Of course you have to extract it from the zip. Now I don't do that because I already have it uh, defined in my environmental values so I can actually use fastboot from anywhere I want. So basically you need to enter the command fastboot OEM uh, get identifier token. Now after you enter it it will give you the token and you have to select it and copy it so basically just hit enter and it will show you. I won't do it right now because uh, the token is supposed to be something secret so just do that and you'll get the token and you can uh, just press the left key button mark and you can just uh, drag it and copy it. Now how you copy just again left click and that's it you copied the token now after you copied uh, your token you can just go to step 7 my device and identify token just have to paste here your token and then you hit submit now I'm not sure if it sends you by email or it will show you in the website you will have a special key that will enable you to unlock your bootloader so I'll do it now and we'll continue right after so as I said and you can just see the you just saw the notification you get the token on your email and that's it you can continue to unlock your bootloader which we will do right away so in your email you'll receive an email from HTC which will again warn you before you unlock your bootloader here you can proceed uh, to, the, to all the other steps that are needed but basically what you need to do is download he this file, the unlocked code.bin. You just have to navigate exactly where you saved the fast boot. So in my case it's uh, somewhere in Android development in the SDK. So just save it there and we'll continue right now. So now what we co we're gonna do is enter the command fastboot flash unlock token unlock dash code dot bin. This will actually enable us the menu to unlock our bootloader so I'll just paste the command. Note that um, this time I have to navigate to the directory of the fastboot because the file is there. So I hope it will work. Let's press enter and check it out. Yep, so here it is, it shows you that it actually wrote something to your phone and it has finished. Now basically on my phone I'll show you it right away. I can already see the menu that uh, enables to unlock the bootloader. You can also see the same menu right here. So let's show you how the process goes on our phone from here on. So this is the unlock bootloader menu. So basically you have to navigate with your keys, again it warns you that uh, you can void your warranty, that you can mess up with your OS and everything else. So basically the no is the default you can note here, but we'll actually choose the yes and to choose the option you just hit the power key. So after we chose yes, it took some time and then phone reboots. The factory reset is has been done and I'm kinda scared. I hope I won't lose anything because I already backed up everything so I'll just hope it will work to restore everything. So now I'm waiting of course it usually takes uh, much faster a boot but this time first of all the fast boot is disabled and after a factory reset it will probably take some time till uh, it loads the system. Yeah, it did a factory reset. Basically, it's just like the beginning of the first day. So, I'll just choose English United States because that's what I prefer. And we'll probably continue from here. So, now we are going to root our device after our bootloader is unlocked. And we're going to install a custom recovery. I'll, go, I'll install the TWRP. So just download uh, the SuperSU in the link that I'll give. It's what gives us root and the super user. 
I already downloaded it, so I'll just uh, go directly to it and copy it to the HTC One. Sorry for the, um, so many open windows doing it for the very first time here. So I, uh, I copy it and transfer it to the internal storage of the um, HTC One. Just give it a second to copy. That's it, it's on our HTC One. Now we are going to download the TWRP. So just click the Get TWRP for your device and write HTC One. You'll immediately see many options if you have a Sprint version or whatever else. You can use it as well. I'm going to choose the M7, the regular one. So basically you have many options, I'm going to choose the old fashioned way, the fastboot, or you can actually install it with ADB, but I'm going to use fastboot. Just download it, uh, you'll have to choose a version, I'm going to choose the latest probably. Again, I'm going to put it inside my Fastboot uh, directory in order to install it properly. So you should do this as well, in my case it's in the SDK. So after we downloaded the file of a TWRP, you want to enter the bootloader again on your phone, you probably already know how to do it. So just enter and then press the power button once to enter a fast boot. After you do that, connect your HTC One again to the USB, to the computer. And what you want to do is write fast boot flash recovery and the name of our recovery file. Well, in my case it shows the .img, you just have to choose everything and you can paste the name or you can actually rename it if you want you press enter it should take a few moments and that's it now basically what we want to do on our phone is just reboot into recovery I'll show you how to do that in a moment so now what you're gonna do is navigate with the volume buttons to reboot bootloader you have to reboot it wait for it to come. Now after you did it you can enter again to the bootloader just press once the power button again and then we'll try to enter our recovery for the very first time. Here you can see at the top that it says enter in recovery and here it starts. So this is our recovery now I'm gonna do a backup first. I suggest you do a backup of everything you can immediately because in any case whatever goes wrong you can always go back and basically with this you won't have to use an RUU later in case you want to use it to I don't know send it to HTC for a fix or anything so just backup. This is the, the key to everything so always backup. So now we are going to install the root. We will navigate to our root file that we just copied. Just swipe, wait a few seconds and reboot system. After our system reboots we should have our root access. Now basically when you have TWRP you can install custom ROMs which will already have root inside so you don't have to worry about this process. So now after our system is loaded let's enter to the SuperSU and ok it has to update. Now basically we just have to update and we'll have the root access. That's it guys our phone is rooted. Good luck play with custom ROMs and I might do a video in the near future on how to do S off to our phone and install probably the Google Edition after we use a SuperSeed or whatsoever. Thank you for watching and see you next time.
like and subscribe my video and have fun.